Welcome back, guys. My name is Game Boy, and today's game we're going to be playing is called The Wild at Heart. And I don't really understand what is going on at the moment. Like, I do know that this is probably going to give me a profound message at the end of the game. But I am very curious on what this is. Like, it seems very cute and very adorable for what it is. Like, it feels a lot like Pikmin and everything and I am loving what this game is and I am just curious on like what the story is because it's giving me a lot it is giving me a lot so I really am curious like what the whole premise of it is oh wait I can kick yes I would like to kick please I do not throw but I would like to yeah I don't want to throw one of those creatures and I do have to remember the controls obviously Okay, so I do have to... Okay, so I see that I will have to get more materials. Wait. Yeah, I have the materials to do what I want to do right now, but before anything, I would like to just go and get more materials, just because the more materials, the better, I guess. And I'm not really sure on, like, what I'm gonna... Like, I know I'm upgrading my vacuum and everything, but I don't know what the upgrade's gonna do, so... Oh! Dash? Okay, so the... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Makes sense, makes sense. So, I can stash stuff at the home base, do what I need to do there, and... Okay, makes sense. So, if I... Oh, I'm gonna guess that the new vacuum is gonna probably be something that... It's gonna allow me to do more than what I'm able to do right now. So, I'm gonna go upgrade my vacuum and see what I need to do. So you were only here to upgrade and do stuff like that. Okay, makes sense. Okay, so that that makes it a lot more powerful and everything. And okay, so I have a stamina stamina meter on that. So uh, apparently I'm supposed to. Be, okay, let me see if I can do this. Okay, so I will be needing to do this. I see. Okay, yeah, getting the more powerful. Um, Duster Buster or whatever it's called. Yeah, I, I am glad that I did. And I would like to have you grab all of this. Okay, so I am able to use the original Buster and everything. But if I use the more powerful one, it's just going to suck away power and everything. Okay, makes sense. That does make sense. So I have to figure out... Okay, you are going to follow me okay so I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this okay so the extra stuff that I did just receive I basically needed to be able to go forward if I didn't have it then I would think gonna be able to yeah and you're probably um, extra stuff okay can I open thank you so you are, yeah, you get to replenish your heart, so not going to use it now, even though I can and everything. It's just right now I want to be able to just go forward and save the heart, the the um, extra heart. So if I need to, um, um, if I get into any combat, I can use it. So, okay, first of all, I'd like to make those go so then I can get things here. 
I do way over here just so then I am able to thank you. Don't really, if I don't have to go into combat, I would like to, okay, so throw you over here, make sure that I can. I want to pick up everything that I can in this game because I don't know if everything is going to be um, like, like necessary for like the story and everything, so collecting as much as I am collecting is, I guess, a good idea to do. Is, I guess, a good idea to do so then I can go and just have everything ready and already collected so then later I don't have to do it. Okay, so I will be needing a large cog to be able to go and do stuff, but first I would like to go and throw all the, these um, spiritlings over here just so then I am able to... Okay, not good. So spiritlings are able to go here and destroy what, what I can't destroy. Makes sense on that because if I was able to destroy what I couldn't destroy, then that would just be weird. That would just be weird. Um, okay. Okay, so you're gonna go for that, not this? Oh, I can actually destroy you. Did not know that. Destroying you does what? Oh, I get stuff. I get stuff, and that's cool. Uh, yes, I read you. Would like to pick up the stuff around here. Okay, good. And you are what? Um... Uh, sure, why not? So basically, oh, so that's my warp system, and if I go and have enough to do it, I'm able to warp to different areas. Makes sense, makes sense on that regard. Am I able to destroy? Oh! And yes, I know I could talk to the person over there, but I'm not going to do that. Not going to talk to them quite yet, just because don't want to. Oh, um, so I get more um little spiritlings and everything. That's cool. So I'm guessing that this is a lot like Pikmin in the way that it has different um spiritlings to do different tasks. I see. And um. Exactly what do I do? I know I need a cog for that. I know I can't go there because wait, can I throw one of you? Okay, so that's just gonna do that and I don't want that. Okay, so I need 20 of you. I need 20 of you to be able to do that. So apparently I need to do something that I'm not seeing right at the moment. Just figured it out. Just have to keep doing this, apparently. Just have to wait for the spiritlings to be able to build the bridge. Once the bridge is built, I should be able to move forward with going over to here. Okay, so you're an enemy. Do not like this. Do not like the fact that... Yeah, I really did not like that fact. So now I have to heal up if I can. So, eat that. Eat one of those, and... Okay, so I am full health. Okay, so I have to be a little bit closer to these things. So I'm guessing that I'm gonna just have to hatch all of the 
spiritlings, and then once I do that, I should be able to move the rock that allows me to then progress, I see. Makes sense, like, I understand why it's like this, but... Interesting. Wait, need to do this. Okay, so now, need to hatch all of the spiritlings. And once the spiritlings are... Oh! Just found something. Okay, so I got more of those. Eh, there's more. Uh, there's another one over here. Would like as many as I possibly can, just so then when when um I do things, I already do have it done. Okay, so it looks like I have enough to be able to do this over here. I see. How much do I need? Okay, so I need 20, so I need five more, but don't have enough to do that. But I do have enough to do, I guess, this. So I can just throw the, um, okay, two more, and then I should be able to move this way to collect this somehow, and this, oh, am I able to climb? Yes, I am. Okay, so I am glad that I, oh, throw, would like to not get hurt, please, would like to not get hurt, getting hurt is something that I would like to not have happen, but. It's something that's going to be inevitable because, yeah, for me, getting hurt is an inevitable thing that always usually happens. Okay, so I did not know that they could be trapped. Did not know that. If I did, I wouldn't have done that so carelessly. Okay, pick you guys up, and then have to do this. Okay, so I can't do that because of the bees, of course. So I have to figure out... Okay, so I just have to go across, I guess, to be able to do this, I see. This is an interesting game. Like, it's very interesting on how it does its mechanics. Very interesting. But I am learning a lot about what to do and how to do things, so that is a... Wait, 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 wait. Am I able to... Okay, so I am able to do this, at least. So, you just destroy that so then I can continue this way without needing to have to climb every time. And if I... Oh, wait, I have a crafting... No, I do not want to sleep. I want to craft. Okay, so that's putting them in. And this is taking them out. So I need all of them at the moment to do... Something. I don't know exactly what, but I do need them to do something. Oh, wait. Just realized if I go over to... Okay, so I can't go that way. And I do see where the cog is. I do see where the cog is. I don't have any means to do it, but I do know where the cog is at the moment. Okay, why didn't I realize that I could destroy this? Why didn't I realize that I, by throwing the spiritlings, I could do that. Okay, first of all, do that. Send them that way just so then I don't have to deal with that. What are these supposed to do, exactly? Okay, so I have seven in my group right now, so that's not going to be helpful moving this. So, this is exactly what? Okay, so that is that. You're just gonna... Okay, so where are you gonna bring this, if anywhere? Okay, so you're just gonna be pushed up to here, and I should be able to now do it. You're gonna follow me. Keep following. And let me check what's up here, just to make sure that if there is anything up here. Okay, so there's this. Okay, would probably not want to open that. Would probably not want to open that, just because it's not looking friendly. Does not look friendly, but at least I can go and collect this that's here, and then come back down. And collect, recollect the spiritlings that are building the bridge, I see.
Um, am I able to do this or no? Okay, so I need a different type of spiritling, I guess, to do that. Okay, do not want to use all of my um my energy to just do that. Okay, for, for, okay so I can't wait. Am I able to do this? Okay, so can't do anything there. What are you saying? Okay, so if I do this well, I'm able... Okay, okay so you're a fire monster, so I should basically at the moment... I'm gonna try just bringing like a few, not a lot, just because I don't want all of them to like get hurt or like perish because I'm not sure if they can perish, so I'm gonna be very cautious and not have that to worry about. Okay, what are you saying? I skipped you long enough. Okay, so yeah, I, I get it. My bag is full, blah blah blah, I get it. Yeah, I have enough to do this, but I have five in the um thing, so I can only do five at the moment. So I'm going to bring five with me, but put in five, only keep five. No, put in ten, take out five and everything, so then I can go and if anything, I can grab that can. Just so then when I go into the next area, I don't have any problems with what I will probably have problems with because... Knowing me, I'm probably going to have a lot of problems. Didn't realize I could do that. Did not realize that I could do that. But now that I do, I can go and get the cog, do what I need to do with that, and then I should be able to move forward with the, the task at hand. Did not know that I could throw them across the river. Did not realize I could do that. But now I do, and I can now grab this. Have three. Carry that. Not that way, because that. Oh wait, but by, by doing that, it lowers it, and then I should. Yes, I know you're gonna tell me something, but I don't really need to have you tell me what I already know. So now I go and I go up to here. Don't care. Just would like to do this on my own. I'm glad that it doesn't force you into like a talkative air a talkative thing with the um old man gray coat okay so i am able to go forward there but up here i would like to go and do what's over here i don't know what i'm going to be finding but if i can go and do this without getting too mangled because I'm going to try it. I'm not really sure if I can. But I'm going to try it. I might be able to find stuff. Not good. So yeah, my spiritlings can be captured. That is very bad. But now that I know that, it's going to mean that I'm going to have to be very cautious with what I have to do. So now that I know that my spiritlings can be captured and I can't receive them after being captured in some way, I'm gonna have to be a lot more careful with what I'm doing.
Okay, so, oh, spiritlings can die. Um, that's not good. That is so not good. Okay, so, um... Okay, I don't exactly know what's going on. I do know that the dark is not good, I guess. And the dark has those evil creatures that can kill the spiritlings, I see. Um, okay. So, if, if it turns dark, just immediately try to go to sleep, I see. So basically, Green Shield is basically the the protectors of the spiritlings and the protectors of this area and land. I see. Makes sense, I guess. Makes sense, I guess. But wow, I am learning a lot and doing a lot, and I'm glad that I don't have to do the tutorial or talk to the crystal and everything when it beeps at me or rings or whatever it does, vibrates. I don't know what it does, but it lets me know that it's active and I don't have to talk to it if I don't want to. Like, I can just do what I need to do and figure it out on my own, and that's really cool, and I am certainly loving this game. I am really curious on what Green Shield is. I really am curious, and I will figure out more next episode, because I am just going to leave this here. I am loving, like, the spiritlings. I am having a good time with figuring out what the puzzles are. Not too difficult and everything. I might, after this, I might go and probably play Pikmin because I like the mechanic of what this game is. I like this mechanic. Like, I've never played Pikmin before, and this is just making me want to play Pikmin now. Like, I am just very curious on, like, does it play the same way as this game and everything, but that's for later, that's for later, but anyway, I am just gonna leave this episode here, and I am just going to go. 
See ya! If you like the video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give a boy the subscribe button. And I'll see you all guys in the next video.